Hello there, everybody. My name is Coach Chell Dogster Ball, but built for the partners, and welcome to a Coach Chell review. This is from the fantastic dart ride Walter Gromit Thrillomatic at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Now, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media, and make sure you get your questions down below in the comment section for the 1,500 subscriber QA, which will be uh, uploaded just a day or two after we hit that milestone. Um, make sure you get your questions in by using hashtag question before or after your question in the comment section below. I'll be doing it on Instagram very, very soon as well. So make sure you stay tuned to Instagram. Links in the description for that as well. So stay tuned for that. For now, guys, let's get into this video. So let's start with some stats and some interesting uh, sort of facts about Wallace and Gromit Thrillomatic. Now, this opened in April 2013, uh, specifically the 29th of April 2013, at a cost of around five and a quarter million pounds. It replaced the old classic gold mine, which operated between 1971 and 2011. The manufacturer of this trap-based dart ride is WGH Transportation Engineering, designed by Farmer Attraction Development, themed around Willis and Gromit after 2013. Now, of course, the original cars uh, were gold mine, like mine cars or mine carts, uh, and of course, they changed to slipper-themed vehicles to uh, sort of resemble Wallace's slippers. Now, um, the right now the. Now the original ride cost around £150,000, uh, that was the opening of 1971 gold mine uh, and of course the redevelopment cost just over £5 million for Wallace and Gromit. Um, now of course it was also designed in association with Arman Animations so they helped out uh, with the uh, theming and the animation style and things like that. Now the ride almost lasts around 4 minutes and features scenes from A Grand Day Out. The wrong trousers, a close shave, the curse of the wear rabbit, and a matter of loaf and death. So, you know, it's the Walter Gromit movies basically. Um, now, this does share the exact layout of the gold mine ride, uh, and of course, next to the ride is the shop uh, for the ride as well. Now, of course, gold mine was going through a bit of a rough patch, of course, um, leading up to its official closure in 2011. Uh, you know, it was SBNO for like a while, and then um, it sort of reopened for a bit, and so it was going through a bit of a rough period. So I think it was time for some kind of work to take place. Uh, and of course, Wallace and Gromit came about. Now, not many people are a fan of IPs. Of course, if you don't know what IPs are, intellectual property. So things like Thomas Land at Drake Manor, Wallace and Gromit, CBeebies at Alton Towers. So it's intellectual properties. It's brands based on TV shows, books. You know, David Williams is an IP. Uh, that's opening at Alton Towers this year, so uh, hopefully we'll be down for that on the opening day. Um, so yeah, intellectual properties. Not many people are a fan of that. They like the original stuff. Um, however, this was still a good ride. This was still a good ride. Now, I didn't get the chance to experience the original gold mine attraction. However, I think that overall, this is definitely a brilliant dart ride. I think... Uh, the layout of it is quite nice. Um, the different Wallace and Gromit themed scenes uh, within the ride uh, are very well designed and very well executed in terms of theming style, uh, animation style, design style. Um, obviously, the park enthusiasts have their favourite moment, blur as they call it. Uh, so if you want, if you don't want spoilers, skip ahead five seconds. But basically, for those of you who stayed, it's a giant wear rabbit that goes blur. <laughs> um, we all love it. We absolutely love it. Um, but I think one main concern that people in the enthusiast community have with this ride, uh, and, and to be fair, I include. I, I I'm not going to lie. I agree with them in, in a way. Um, it feels very um, one scene, then the next scene, then the next scene, then the next scene. There's no breather because you have to take so much in. I also feel like it's a bit of a clash. I feel like some films sometimes like to mix between the two where I'd rather uh, have an order. There is an order mainly throughout. I think it's just a couple of little bits that I think could have maybe uh, gone maybe uh, in different places, but... Um, I think the main concern with this ride is the fact that you don't really get a chance to breathe, I guess. Um, there's not really a chance to take in the whole surroundings, because it's like a scene, then straight away another scene, then straight away another scene, and so forth. 
and then you get a massive scare at the end. But there's no real chance to breathe and sort of take in the surroundings. Like I know the uh, the rocket sort of turnaround section. That's a chance to sort of take all the theming in and stuff like that. And I know when Grobit's flying in the plane, I know that's a chance to take in the surroundings and stuff like that. <coughs> but I feel like there's more, excuse me, I feel like there's more, there needs to be more opportunity to take all the surroundings in. So I think that uh, it's still a great ride, but I think there's still a little room for improvement. I know Wallace and Gromit, uh, I know a couple of people do want Wallace and Gromit to be uh, replaced at some point in the future. But I think for now, I think it's as good as it ever has been. So I think Wallace and Gromit's good for a long period of time. Um, you know, am I going to predict when it's going to be removed? Uh, not really, because I don't know when it's going to be removed. Um, when it does get removed, I'd be quite sad because it's a, you know, it might not be the original thing from 1971 to 2011, but it was still the original Dark Ride system from 1971. Uh, so it's still a, a classic attraction. It's kind of like I was so proud to get the Valhalla, you know, before it's reimagining for 2021. I was so proud to get Wild Mouse in before it was demolished the following year. Uh, so there's a lot of things to sort of take in about all this. But uh, overall, Wallace and Gromit is a cracking, cracking dart ride. Um, you know, get cracking Gromit, the Thrillmatic Urban's at Pleasure Beach in Blackpool 2013. That was the teaser campaign quote that we're using throughout the cold construction process, the deconstruction of Goldmine and the reconstruction into Wallace and Gromit uh, over 2011 and 2012 uh, when they were constructing this ride. So, uh, overall, I think this is cracking. And I, I know, I, I, now please comment down below if this is true. I hope some of you are watching this with your cheeses, your cheese grommet. Uh, <laughs> um, if, you, if some of you are actually watching this review with cheeses, comment down below. Please comment down below. I'd like to see who's actually watching this with a stick of cheese or something uh, for the theme of the video. Uh, but thank you very much for watching this review of Wallace and Gromit Thrillomatic of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. We've got some exciting stuff to come on the channel. Uh, obviously the 2020 season is about to kick in Blackpool Pleasure Beach opens in about a week or two time. Uh, I don't think I'll be down there for the WoW weekend, unfortunately. It's like nearly 20 quid a ticket, which is cheap as chips, considering the actual asking price during the busier months. But uh, obviously, unfortunately, I won't be down there this year. I will try and get down to Blackpool Pleasure Beach next year for the reimagined Valhalla uh, opening, hopefully. Fingers crossed, it all goes to plan. Uh, but I haven't been to Blackpool in a few years, so I think I'm due a visit next year at least. So uh, obviously I still haven't done Icon, that's the ride I need to get in at some point. Obviously with the Reimagined Valhalla being the main reason to go back to Blackpool next year, uh, but I don't think I'll be down there this year unfortunately. So um, if you're there at Blackpool Pleasure Beach this year for you know opening weekend, summer months, spring months, late night riding events, Halloween, uh, obviously there was some details released about Journey to Hell Freak Night, so I'll release an update on that in a few days time. Please comment down below if you're going to be down there and have a great trip. Thank you very much, my name is Coach Chell, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell to see YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family and on social media. Please click the Instagram link in the description down below, stay tuned. Uh, and also put your questions in for the 1500 subscriber Q&A uh, video in the description down below. Use hashtag question before or after your questions so I know it's for the Q&A. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, Kit on the Coast Live, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.